the nervous system. The objective for this section, which are your line out, learning outcomes, include understanding the importance of support cells in the nervous system, learning about the different types of supportive cells, exploring the function and characteristics of each type of supportive cells, providing a brief overview of the nervous system, and lastly, stating the two components, the neurons and the nerve support cells. So we have four types of support cells in the CNS. We have astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, microglia, and epidermal cells. Starting with the astrocytes, these are subtype of glial cells that make up of the majority of the cells in the CNS. The major function is to provide structural support, regulate transmitter levels, help form the blood-brain barrier, BBB. Characteristic is that you find that they are star-shaped cells, numerous processes extending from the cell body, importance in neural health and function. Number two is the oligodendrocytes. Oligodendrocytes are the myelinating cells in the CNS, okay? They are the end product of cell lineage, which has to undergo a complex and a precisely timed program of proliferation, migration, differentiation, and myelination to finally produce the insulating sheath of axons. Their function is to produce myelin sheath in the CNS, which normally insulates nerve fibers and enhances signal uh, transmission. Remember, multiple sclerosis will be targeting this part, okay? Will be targeting these parts, the myelin sheets produced by the oligodendrocytes. Fewer processes than astrocytes, if you compare, and they're responsible for myelinating multiple axons, they are compared to swan cells in the peripheral nervous system. The third one is microglia, and microglial cells are specialized population of microphages that are found in the CNS. They remove damaged neurons and infections and are important for maintaining the health of the CNS. Their major function is to act as immune cells of the CNS. They defend against pathogens and remove cellular debris. They look at their characterization. They are small, mobile, and capable of phagocytosis. Role in neuro inflammation and neural disorders is noted for this. Lastly is epidermal cells, and epidermal cells are neuroepithelial multiciliated cells lining the spinal cord and the cerebral ventricles and are derived from uh, the radial glial cells in the embryo between embryonic day, day 14. So the function is that they line up the ventricles of the brain and the central canal of the spinal cord and produce CNS, okay? So, uh, their characteristics is that they are cuboidal or columnar shaped cilia with cilia on their surfaces. They are very important in the CSF, which is important in cushioning and supporting the CNS. So, after looking at the CNS cell supportive cells, it's also good for us to look at the peripheral nervous system. And in peripheral nervous system, we have two. We have satellite cells and swan cells. So the swan cells are the type of glial cells of the peripheral nervous system that normally help form myelin sheath. So they are compared to us to oligodendrocytes in the CNS. Okay. So a swan cell develops and rotates around the, the axon forming myelin sheath, uh, which is now, which you normally say it is myelinated. Okay. So you know, it is now the, the, the disease that will be targeting the, the myelin sheath. So the function is to produce the myelin sheath in the peripheral nervous system and they support in the nerve fiber uh, regeneration. Remember, we'll be having issues with Guillain-Barre syndrome in this case. So six is that myelinate is a, a single axon and play a role in nerve repair. Okay, they help in repair. Importance in peripheral nerve function and regeneration. Lastly, we have the satellite cells and this one are small glial cells that surround neurons um, and neurons, sensory ganglia in the autonomic nervous system. They resemble the astrocytes of the CNS and assist in regulating external chemical environment. They are thought to have similar role to astrocytes in the CNS. Remember in the astrocytes, they are providing sub structural support. Okay, so they supply nutrients to the surrounding neurons and have some structural function. Satellite cells also act as protective and cushioning cells. 
So guys, here are some of the questions that can help us understand. Like which one, which of the, which support cells act as immune cells in the CNS and defend against pathogens? Is it astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, macrogral, epidermal, microgral cells, okay? Thank you so much. Epidermal cells are responsible for production of which fluid that cushions the support, supports, uh, cushions and supports the CNS, blood plasma, CSF, interstitial, lymphatic. We've said the epidermal cells are involved in production of the cerebrospinal fluid, which is very important in cushioning and supporting the CNS. Which of the following um, cells in the CNS provides structural support and helps regulate neurotransmitter levels? Structural support, yes. For the structural support are there? They are the astrocytes, okay? Thank you so much. Then next we have which of the following in the CNS are responsible for producing myelin sheath that insulate nerve fibers in the CNS? Myelin sheath, oligodendrocytes, very good. Which support cells in the peripheral nervous system produces myelin sheath in the central nervous system, in the peripheral nervous system? Yes, swan cells, very good. Which support cells play a role in the repair and regeneration in the PNS? Yeah, nerve repair and regeneration. The swan cells, very good, very good. What's the primary function of the swan cells in the PNS? Production of the myelin, myelin sheet. Which type of supportive cells surrounds the cells bodies of the neurons in the PNS? Surrounding the cell bodies? the satellite cells, okay? So guys, that marks the end of our presentation. Remember, you can subscribe and like our videos for you to get more videos that are interactive in nature and stay updated as far as the nervous system is concerned. Thank you so much for creating time and watching this video. Kindly share and like our video.